Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more technical videos. Hello Tech Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to install KVM on CentOS 8. Okay, uh, let's just fire up the terminal first. And before doing any installation, let me just uh, rename the host name and then we'll start our process. Okay, uh, let's log into root first and then uh, command is uh, su space minus enter and the password enter. And now the command is to change the host name is hostname ctl set hyphen hostname tech donkey which is the hostname I'm gonna use and enter okay let me just close the terminal and reopen it uh, for the changes to effect now you can see the hostname is changed and again uh, let us just log into the root where well, we are gonna update the package manager using yum or tnf so we have two different options to update the package manager one is yum and that means dnf here we're gonna use our dnf don't worry guys i will i'll make another video of it and, uh, what is the difference between dnf and yum The maximize and the minimize button is not available here and sometimes it's really very problematic. So let me just install a package called uh, Trick Tools from software so it will give us the maximize and the minimize button option. So it is installed now uh, okay first we're gonna change the theme from default to dark dark is my favorite color by the way <laughs> now let's go to extensions where we're gonna enable the desktop icon which is going to provide the right click menu bar with uh, more options and then we'll go uh, change the font size to align the desktop properly and of course it is not necessary for everyone it depends on the resolution of your desktop and then we'll go to windows and turn on the minimize and maximize button see now it is uh, showing the options Okay, let me just uh, reboot the server first and then we'll start our installation process. Okay, now 
open the terminal and log in as root and uh, here are the commands uh, which we are going to use for this installation process but before starting the process here are some prerequisites first go to your bias settings using your Dell key on your keyboard and check the virtualization technology is enabled or not if it is enabled that's fine if not enable it and save the settings using F10 key and reboot the server and now check the virtualization compatibility uh, using these commands I'm using uh, Intel processor so I'm I'm gonna use the first command if you have AMD then use the second command KVM requires a few kernel module in order to support uh, full virtualization. Most uh, distributions contain these modules by default. So we are going to use this command to check if the kernel module is currently, currently uh, loaded or not. Okay, now we are going to install cockpit, uh, which is an easy to use lightweight and simple and powerful remote management web based tool for Linux servers. That means you can control your Linux server or any host which is based on Linux like uh, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, CentOS, Red Hat. Okay, after completion of the package installation, you need to add the cockpit service to the firewall, which is enabled by default. So use these commands to reload the new configuration changes. Okay, uh, let's check the IP address first using the if config command so we can uh, log into the cockpit web portal. Okay, let's uh, fire up the Firefox and, and uh, type the system default IP address which is uh, 7.17.27.5 and the port number is 9090 
see now it is asking for the certificate as of now we don't have uh, that uh, don't worry click on the advance and uh, then click on accept and risk and continue so this is the cockpit web panel to manage your server now we can log in as uh, system created users uh, we are going to use uh, root and its password so now you can check the host details in this section you can uh, monitor uh, system health disk uses system information you can configure the host name here date time and uh, if you have any active directory or any ldap running in your environment you can join this server too without putting your effort in terminal here you can check the logs storage networking and virtual machine details over here user account details you can also install the available package here automatic update is off it is recommended that uh, it stays off okay this is a this is a very good feature you don't need to download putty or any terminal tool you can directly log in from here Now it is time to install the KBM packages. Please follow the commands. First one is DNF module install word. Second one is DNF install word hyphen install word hyphen viewer. Now run this command which is a word hyphen host hyphen validate to check the drivers are configured properly and run the word hypervisor. Okay, now you need to run these three commands to start the liberty daemon which is a system CTL start liberty dot service. And now you need to enable the daemon to start automatically on every boot, uh, which is systemctl enable liberty dot service. At last, you need to check the status of the liberty services that it is running properly or not, which is uh, systemctl status liberty dot service. Here I'm gonna give you a tweak advice which is gonna like which is going to be very helpful for you. As you noticed uh, that we don't have any taskbar in Linux like Windows. So I'm gonna show you how to enable it that uh, like how to enable the taskbar using a cell extension script. Um, don't worry we don't need to write anything just go to the software and click on add-on and then uh, click on shell extension and then search for dash to panel and enable it 